everyone, it's Sadie Rose and for today's video I am going to be doing a homeware and beauty haul. So I've picked up a few bits recently, um, not too many things, just a few makeup bits and a few homeware bits so I thought I'd show you, you them for today's video. I just want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you for 4,000 subscribers. 4,000 subscribers was my end of year goal. The fact that I've hit it before even autumn starts is incredible. So I just want to thank every single one of you, every single subscriber who has stuck with me and watched my videos every single day. I, I just can't thank you guys enough. But without further ado, let's get started. So first I'm gonna show you the one thing that's clothing. Um, I only have one thing that's clothing, so I just thought I'd show you it quickly. It's from New Look, and it's this pair of shorts. They look like this, and they're a palm leaf design. You might remember a t-shirt or like a um, halter neck top that I have with the same design from New Look. That was about eight pounds, I think. And um, but these were reduced from ten pounds to three pounds. Like oh my god, in the summer sale, um, these were reduced, so I had to pick them up. I've been eyeing them up all summer, and. They were just £10 and I thought, mm, £10 quite a lot for a pair of shorts, but they were reduced to £3, so I thought I had to buy them. They just look like this. They're a really pretty palm leaf design. I know it's not summer anymore, but they're still nice to wear to bed or just any time really, and I can obviously wear them next year, uh, but I picked these up. The next thing that I picked up is from Ikea and it is this plant so it looks like this it's the one that literally every single person on youtube has in their videos uh the pot is also from ikea uh i didn't get this recently but um i put the plant in it and it looks really really nice i absolutely love this i've been eyeing this up for ages as well as the shorts and i just finally thought oh i really need to buy it it looks really really nice my room hardly has any green in it um i'm planning on getting like morphic plants because i literally can't keep a plant alive but i'm pretty sure this was like two pounds two pound fifty or something i can't actually remember the pot was only like one pound or something so really really cheap i love ikea for everything they do and um this was really really cheap and it's really really nice on my dressing table so the next thing i got is from b and m and it is another little pot and this is this pot it's kind of like a dupe if you call it a dupe for the um, ikea ones because i personally don't live near an ikea um so ikea we only go week like sometimes like, occasionally but um i found this in b m and it was a pound and it's this kind of gray or whitey color it's like gray basically and it's really 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 nice and i put pens in this and it, i think it just looks really cute like I don't know, you can get them in all different colours, like, you can't really get that many colours of the Ikea ones, but you can get loads of colours of this one, and it's only a pound, so I thought I would pick it up. Then, the last two homeware bits are from Primark, because Primark's my fave for homeware. So first, I got this little um, rose gold and green, obviously, a little plant, and the pot is this, this rose gold, like, textured, and I really, really like it, and the plant is fake, obviously. I can't keep a plant alive and I just really really like it I put this next to the Ikea plant and it just looks so so stunning on my dressing table and it's so so cute and I not Ikea and Primark have so many nice um homeware bits at the moment so definitely pick yourself up some of these plants then the final thing I got was this oh it's got something on the side uh it looks like this I literally have been wanting this ever since I saw it in Primark three pounds and you can also get a big one for five pounds i think and it looks like this and it's just a copper basket and i put this on my dressing table with like my skincare in it basically and body sprays and everything and it's just really really nice it looks so stunning i just i absolutely love it and you could put anything in here you could just leave it empty like it looks nice just like sitting somewhere you can put makeup in it you could put um, skincare in it like I did anything you can think of can go in here and it's really really nice and I just absolutely love it for three pounds you can't go wrong next I'm moving on to beauty but first I'm just going to show you another thing that I picked up from Primark which was the Primark square fake nails now I'm not a person for doing my nails I've actually got um shellac on and I'm getting them shellacked again today um just as a treat from my mum but I got these ones because my nails are really bad I bite them I shouldn't but I do and um, I just got these square velvet touch ones because I got some of the almond shaped ones as well but I don't like the shape of them but these ones are like square so they're not too long and I just really really like the colour and I haven't tried them out yet so comment if you 
if you have tried Primark nails and they're good or not um because I don't want to like ruin my nails or anything but um I'm pretty sure they're okay but I just got some of these for a pound now another beauty product I got was the beauty formulas activated charcoal clay mask this was 99p from home bargains and I've seen loads of people talk about this kind of brand and these um clay masks I've used it a few times it's okay it doesn't really do much for my skin I'd prefer to get like a peel off one because this isn't black and I thought it was like a black one but it's not um but as it was only 99p it's okay but I do still quite like it so the rest of the things I make up got quite a few makeup the old drugstore I think yeah I'm pretty sure they're all drugstore but the first thing I got when I was in London my dad kindly got this for me it is a Kiko product I've never had anything from Kiko went into the Kiko store nothing really caught my eye except this highlighter um, so it looks like so and it's got really really nice packaging it's in the shade 01 glow fusion and it basically just looks like this it has a really really good mirror in it as well and it just looks like this and it's really really pretty I really really do like this and I think it's really really nice and natural um, and it was like nine pounds i think if i already said that or like ten pounds i'm not sure but i really really do like this then i got two foundations recently so first i got the rimmel london lasting finish 25 hour comfort serum foundation it's in the lighter shade ivory i'm pretty sure and i really really like this foundation um it can be a, it's a tiny bit dark but it's fine like if i blend it and do the rest of my makeup it's fine um but i really really do like this it's definitely full coverage it lasts quite a few hours and it is quite heavy on my face which is why I bought the next foundation that I'm going to show you um but I do still like this this was like 7 99 on 8 99 I'm not sure but I really really do like this and I think I've got it in like the three for two offer but um I really really like this one then the second foundation I got is my absolute favorite it's the perfect color match for me and it's the Maybelline fit me matte poreless normal to oily skin foundation this is my perfect match i absolutely love it it's the right consistency it's not too full coverage but it's not got it's not that like it's not got any coverage it's like in the middle it's like medium coverage i really really like it it's light on your skin it's only 6.99 or 5.99 mine's in the shade 100 i think it's the lightest uh, i absolutely love this no faults about this i absolutely love it it blends really really nicely i just use my beauty blender to do my foundation and i absolutely love this definitely recommend so the next thing is a rimmel london highlight contour and blush palette it's the rimmel kate moss one i'm not really too sure um what the actual name is but it's in the shade coral glow as it says here and i really really like this i haven't been using it too much because I've got some other products but it comes with a highlight contour and blusher I really really do like the contour shade I'm not the biggest fan of the highlights not too pigmented but the contour is like not too cold not too warm it's just perfect shade and I absolutely love it and I think this was like 6.99 or something from Superdrug I went to the Metro Center and I got three things again from Superdrug this was in the 3 for 2 offer because they're doing an offer. I don't know if it's still on, but you could buy 3 for 2 on any cosmetics there. So I decided to get three things. So the first thing I got was the Collection Primed and Ready Primer in the shade Cool Rose. I've been wanting really, really nice primer in the like right shade for me because I've been using Maybelline Baby Skin and I don't really like it. Um, so I thought I would get a new one. I absolutely love this. It's not silicone-y. It's not like oily, like that weird texture on your fingers it just feels really nice blends in it's the perfect shade match for me it does come in clear and apricot i think as well so if you are more tanned or if you just want a clear one you can also get that pretty sure it was like 3.99 i really really like it and it just primes your face and leaves it feeling really nice and smooth as a nice base then i got my favorite thing which is the elf moonlight pearls highlight literally everyone has raved about this pretty sure since jeffree star did his like testing this highlighter against like a hundred dollar one um this is amazing i've got it on today don't know if you can see but it's absolutely stunning i love it so so much it's definitely the best highlighter i've ever used and i use it every single day i just love it it's so nice it's five pounds only like five pounds is amazing 
and I absolutely love it. So definitely recommend this one. And then I also picked up something very exciting, which is a new brow pomade. Since my brows are awful, I needed something to definitely shape them and fill them in. And this is the right thing to use. It's the Freedom Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And it just looks like this. I've literally like destroyed it because um, I love it so much. And I basically just put my brush in and just like outline my brows. I don't really feel, I don't change the shape. I just like fill them in. And I absolutely love it. This is my favorite brow product I've ever used. It's better than my Benefit brow pencil. It's better than my Rimmel ones. This is five pounds. It's not even expensive. And I'm pretty sure it's a really, really good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I just absolutely love it. It's my perfect, my perfect shade match. So you have so many shades. And um, if you're looking for a new brow pomade, this is the one to get. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I know it's been very, very chatty and rambly, but hope you guys like that. Again, thank you so, so much for 4,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me some videos you want to see for fall or autumn. I'm so, so, so excited. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>